Hey everybody, Organized Biology here. We've all been there before, right? You go to the doctor's office, they slap this black cuff on you, and it constricts and it feels kind of uncomfortable, and then some numbers pop up on the screen. Well, what the heck are they doing there? They're measuring your blood pressure. So today is all about blood pressure. We're gonna talk specifically about what it is, why it's important, and then how we calculate it in terms of anatomy and physiology so that you can help treat your patients. Then in the next videos, we're gonna talk about how your body adjusts its blood pressure, as well as some medications that are really important for treating people with high blood pressure. So let's get started. First off, what is blood pressure? Well, when your heart contracts in your chest, it will pump about 70 milliliters of blood, or about a third of a cup, out of the heart into what's called arteries. Those arteries are the tubes that carry the blood away from the heart that are closest to the heart. So when blood goes out, there's going to be some force pushing out on that tube. And that is your blood pressure, okay? So blood pressure is just, by definition, the pressure pushing out on your arteries, okay? Now, why is this important? Well, you are made of 30 trillion cells, and your cells need to have an adequate blood supply at all times. They're very needy because the blood contains all sorts of nutrients and oxygen and stuff that the cells need to survive. So in order for you to survive, you need your cells to be happy. So check out these three cases. Obviously, the happy cell right here is when you have a normal blood pressure. There's adequate amount of blood rushing out of your arteries, getting to the cells, perfusing to them, and they are happy. Now, what if your blood pressure dips too low? Well, then in that case, it's going to be as if the blood isn't even getting to the cells and those cells will begin to die off. And this is a really dangerous condition. This is called hypotension, literally translating to low tension or pressure on those artery walls. And your body doesn't like that, okay? Now, what about the bottom one? Well, this is when the blood is really pushing out on those arteries really hard. And therefore, when the blood gets to the cells, it almost whacks them in the face. And it's really uncomfortable for the cells. Over time, they could be damaged. And this is called hypertension, which literally translates to high tension on your artery walls. Now, if you think about it, if we have hypertension for long periods of time, not only are our cells getting bombarded with this high pressure system of blood, but the arteries themselves can get worn out by this high pressure. So a lot of the blood pressure medications you're talking about are going to be ones that are going to help lower blood pressure or treat hypertension, which is really common, especially in America. Now, how do we actually calculate blood pressure? Well, you probably know when you went to that nurse, right, you saw two numbers on the screen. You likely saw one on the top that was relatively high and then one on the bottom that was a little lower. Now these are specifically measurements of pressure in millimeters of mercury. And these two measure your blood pressure in two different time frames. The top one is called your systolic blood pressure. And systolic refers to when the heart is actively contracting. So when the heart beats over here, it's gonna push out blood on those arteries and the arteries are gonna expand slightly, okay? And that's gonna be because they're under a high amount of pressure. Now, once the arteries close back up, there's still blood pushing out on the arteries, just not as hard. And that is considered your diastolic pressure, which is when your heart is relaxing. So this is a great way to get a momentary blood pressure reading, right? You go to the doctor and you get this done. However, this is just one moment of your entire lifespan. So there's a better way that we actually calculate your blood pressure over long periods of time. And that's through the following equation. MAP equals CO times SVR. What the heck are those letters? Well, MAP stands for mean arterial pressure. And no, it's not that your arteries are angry or mad. No, it means the average arterial pressure over your lifespan. And the way you calculate MAP is by multiplying what's called the cardiac output multiplied by the systemic vascular resistance. Now, cardiac output, this is the amount of blood that is ejected by your heart every minute. So the way we calculate cardiac output is by multiplying stroke volume, which is the amount of blood ejected by the heart per beat, multiplied by heart rate which is how many times your heart beats in a minute. And for more information about cardiac output, I'd recommend you watch this video right here about cardiac output and all the things that can change it in your body. But with blood pressure, you also have to take into consideration systemic vascular resistance, which is basically the resistance of the arteries to allow blood to flow through it. And the three main things that actually affect SVR are the following. Blood vessel diameter, blood vessel length, as well as blood viscosity or blood thickness. So there's a lot of things that equate into your blood pressure calculation. And what's really helpful is when we talk about in the next video how your body adjusts its blood pressure, whether to go up or down, what it's doing is it's affecting one of these three values, whether stroke volume, heart rate, or systemic vascular resistance. So I'll see you over there in this video.